there, it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be trying out two new shades from Lisa Aldridge's lipstick collection. I got two of the insanely saturated lip colors. I picked up one of the new shades Sunday Matinee and I picked up a classic Rainbow Spill because I know so many people love this one. So this is Rainbow Spill and this is Sunday Matinee. I have worn Sunday Matinee several times. I haven't really worn Rainbow Spill too much yet because it is a really bright shade, but this formula is really good. It has some really wonderful staying power. I feel like this lasted all day on me, even through lunch, out when I was at work. I think this this formula is even better than the Velvet formula, in my opinion, because of the lasting power. I think the Velvet formula is great, but it doesn't last forever on me. But this formula, it's like even better. So I'm gonna do some swatches, put these on my lips, show you what they look like on someone with my skin tone. I'm also gonna show you a couple of shades from the Luxuriously Lucent collection that I already have in my collection because Lisa came out with a whole bunch of new shades in that formula and if you wanted to pick up some of the older shades i want to show you that too all right so let's start with this insanely saturated formula i haven't seen some new colors come out in this formula in a long time so it's pretty exciting let's go ahead and show you some swatches this is sunday matinee this is deeper than you expect. Obviously, it's insanely saturated. I love this color. It's different. Not something I don't think I have in my collection. This is Rainbow Spill. This one is very scary for me. I do not love bold colors, but I do love a pink, and I had to get this one. And I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the luxuriously lucent colors that I have. I have Painterly kitten mischief and rose official so let's start with kitten mischief this is a nudie shade and you can notice the difference of formula right away it has much more of a sheen and more sheer i think it's a pretty basic shade i honestly don't know that it's worth the price because it seems like a color you can get anywhere this is rose official I like this formula I don't I didn't pick up any of the new shades because I feel like it doesn't last and for a lipstick I want things to last a little more on me and if I'm going for more of a balm low-key look I want it to be feel a lot more nourishing these don't really feel nourishing or beneficial to the fit to the lips they're just more of a sheer shiny reflective kind of a look they're a lot more easygoing and natural but i just they don't really last on me i think the most unique shade here is painterly this one is really pretty and you can get a good amount of color out of it i just think it just kind of disappears on the lips pretty quickly but these are all the lucent shades that i have in my collection So before I get into applying these, I'm going to show you a little bit more details on these lipsticks. Here is the box packaging of the two new shades I picked up, Sunday Matinee and Rainbow Spill. They're identical boxes. They do have the formula written right here and the names on top. Both of, Rain both of these shades are still in stock. Honestly, all, all of the insanely saturated shades are still in top stock at the time of filming. These are $36 a piece. These are nice lipsticks, so really, really nice. Well worth it. The Lucent formula. Let's see what is still in stock. So everything I showed you is still in stock. The only shade that is out of stock is one of the new ones, Le Mapri, and it looks very basic and nude, and I'm a little bit surprised, but I shouldn't be, because it seems like every nude shade that 
Lisa comes out with just gets sold out immediately. People love nude <laughs> lipsticks. That one to me just, I felt like it would wash me out. So I did not pick up that one, but everything else still in stock. Also don't forget about the velvet formula, everything, everything still in stock. So there's no rush to pick these up. It looks like no one is like buying them all up. I'm not gonna use a lip pencil today. Let's go ahead and get into Sunday Matinee. I also love the name of this just because I do love a good matinee because I'm an old person. Um, whether it be at the movies or the theater, like, mm. okay. There's one swipe. I didn't get to fill in all my lips, but you guys can see the color there. This is such an interesting shade because it does read a little bit corally warm, but it's not. And it definitely wears down a little deeper in person. So I'm just mashing these together. I wouldn't really recommend doing a lot of layers of this formula because you don't need it. And it has kind of a staining effect, as I mentioned. This lasted pretty well on me all day. At least there was a little, some remnant still at the end of the day. I was very impressed by that. And I honestly can't get enough of this color. It just brightens things up. It's not a color I have in my collection. It's not, it's just a surprise that I really love love Sunday matinee. I'm gonna take some photos and I will be back to show you Rainbow Spell. All right so I just noticed when I was taking photos that my top lip was not very precise and because the this color is very um pronounced um or the formula is a little bit more bold and on the thicker side, not super thick, but just slightly thicker formula, you're gonna notice when things are off like that. So you just wanna take a little bit more time applying, um, but you know, I'm under pressure filming, of course it was off. So let's try it, Rainbow Spill. I took that off, my lips are really dry right now. But Rainbow Spill is a shade I'm probably not gonna wear much, but it just looks like fun. This is neon pink in a tube. Oh, this is truly a special shade, magical shade. I don't know how to describe that one. It's hot. Like if I was going to a club, I wouldn't do a lot of other makeup besides this. Um, but this would be a summer shade if I'm going to Miami, somewhere tropical. Rainbow Spell, I would bring. How fun is this color? I actually like it more than I thought I would. Because I'm not like a bright lipstick girl. I do like pinks, but this is almost like red pink. It's a special shade. I really... Do enjoy it again do not have a color like this in my collection it feels good and i do feel like it would last a long time so again perfect for storming the sweat the summer i mean going to a club drinking i think it would wear pretty well as long as you don't smear it all over your face uh, you probably need to um let's see blot a little bit look at that but this is the kind of lipstick that really attaches to your skin, goes into all the little crevices and makes it last a really long time. I love the shade. What do you guys think of Rainbow Spill? All right guys, I think you guys can tell I love Lisa's formula. The 
this new this insanely saturated I think is fabulous uh, she can do Lizzie can do no wrong in my book I love the colors that I picked um, I would say if you guys are thinking a bit about picking up the luxuriously lucent I would just keep in mind that these are on the sheer side they're not necessarily like lip balms or extra nourishing um, they will leave some color after you know a couple swipes if you want something super sheer make sure you do a light layer if you want a little bit more put on some more but these are not super long lasting but they might be nice for the summer to have a little bit of a shine on the lip I think the, her range of shades just getting bigger and bigger and bigger is super nice. Go wild. Try some things outside of your comfort zone like this color. I definitely recommend it. Let me know what you guys are picking up from this brand in terms of lipsticks. Did you guys pick up any of the new shades? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.